Bam, bam, ba, down. Theme song. Welcome back to Texas. Welcome back to Solid Texas Content. And welcome to Oh Good Timing Dead Water Saloon. We're checking out the trailer, the trailer, the demo for this. Right now, we're going to dive in. We're going to see what it's like. This was uh, brought up to my attention. Let's go new game here. This was brought to my attention by uh, one of the uh, members in the Discord. Allison is livid. So let's go for... <laughs> um, oh, oh, no, wait, wait. I know what we got to do. Okay, check it out. Check it out. We got to go. Who looks like Captain Annie? This is the following... This is her prequel. This is Annie's great, 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 great... Um, grandmother. All right. And her name is also Annie. Annie Bell. Annie Bell from Coppertown, from Bittervale, from Serpent's Butt. <laughs> I love it. Already I'm kind of into it. The music is very moody. And it, it looks like from the pictures on the demo, I'm going in blind. It looks like it's a sort of a tavern simulator, sort of a sim game. So this is the, the legend of Captain Annie's great, 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 great grandmother. It looks like we have 20 attribute points left to assign. Having gotten by, you're, she's handsome. Your entire life on good looks and charm. A wealthy admirer grants you title to a saloon out west. Convert that you have what it takes to manage and play. Host to what's sure to be a fine establishment. Play host to what? Okay, I didn't. I gotta turn this down too. That music is loud. But I like it though. Okay, so let's turn up. Um, I don't know. Let's turn up muscle. Kind of just going for it here. Shift click to increase by five. Okay, Savoir Fair. What's that? Used in events and townspeople interaction. Uh, oh, what about finances here? Uh, used in events uh, contributes to blackmail success, supply purchase costs. Let's get those down. Let me put five in there. What about uh, contributes to dual success? Oh, cool. Upcre uh, upkeep costs are lower. I'll do five in there. Seduction. She's got 30 in seduction. Good Lord. We could take out a We got 30 in savoir faire. I don't need more of that. What about, uh, oh, if we sue people? Man, there's a lot going on in this game. Oh, this is a big game, I think. Because it looks like there's things like we got to sue people. Oh, let's get gambling revenue up. Let's do that by three. Let's give our cooking a little bit of a buff. And medicine, just a one. Maybe that'll help us, uh, you know, cure ourselves. Yeah, addiction and disease. So, yeah, we're going to have to sue people. We're going to have to run gambling parlors. We're going to have to run, you know, seduce people. Maybe we run a church. Who knows? We're going to keep it all normal now because we're just playing the demo. I believe we've got like four or five or something demo in in game days before this demo is up. So that's that's probably going to be this one episode. Uh, but if we like it, I recommend tossing this on the wish list and keeping an eye on this game because it certainly looks kind of fun. A new beginning. You dropped off my wagon in front of a large red building in the middle of nowhere. I'm going to be doing this accent maybe, by the way. Walking inside, you breathe the musty smell, and you wonder who's more insane. Ah, oh, now I gotta watch Deadwood again. The man who put us in such a large structure in the middle of nowhere, or the one who'll be managing it. So we've been given this tavern. Okay, there are a few good things going for the place, however. A well-packed road passes right outside your building, and a newly constructed railroad track also runs nearby. There's even a well with fresh water just a few paces away. Perhaps this could be the spot of a blooming town one day, with a bustling main street and a train station bringing in supplies and travelers. And maybe, just maybe, you and your saloon will survive long enough to see it happen. <laughs> okay, let's do this. Welcome to Deadwater Saloon Tutorial. Here will be a brief introduction to the game and its mechanics. This is the saloon! It's right here! Oh, heck yeah! Okay. Uh, note that the tutorial is finished. There will be additional pop-ups. Great. You can move around with the WSD mouse wheel. You can rotate the mouse wheel or Q and E. Oh, okay, those, the menu goes, the tutorial goes fast as soon as you get it. I hope you'll find personal stats. Mental, uh, so health, stress, action points, and town opinion. Okay, great. These are all very important things to monitor. In particular, monitor your health and stress, as both will lead to death if they get too low health or high stress. Okay, pretty straightforward. Next. Above, you'll find saloon stats. So we've got our uh, cash, saloon profit or loss for the day, saloon customer capacity. We can have 48 people in here. Okay. And 200 storage capacity. Okay. You know, so it's very space haven here. You know, we got we got 200 storage capacity. We'll have to build some more storage bays. To the side here, you'll find your booze and food inventory. Booze and food can be purchased in crates 200 from local businesses as they are built in your town. Okay. So here's that road we're talking about, and here's some train tracks. It's all very dark. I think it's like dusk right now or something. It's 6 a.m. according to this. 
So here's the main road, and I think, yeah, so I think it's gonna, things are gonna populate, like, around us as the story unfolds. I mean, potentially. You'll wait for a few hours for a trapper to come through your town before purchasing any booze or food, though. Okay, so we need a trapper to come by. Here is saloon ratings. Your overall rate, saloon rating is scored by the following subsections. Oh, boy. All right. This is your build panel. Here you can see a view toggle button, your floor toggle button, build button. So what's this return? That's going to be the view toggle button. Erase button. Oh, my goodness. There's so many buttons. The button button. Okay, this is your view toggle button. Click this button to show the interior of saloon. Okay. This is your build button. Let's build something. Yeah, let's let's do. Oh, please, let's do. <gasps> there she. There I am. Old Annie Bell. Can I click on her? This is your character screen. Oh, I love it. This is great. Assign a gun. Uh, okay, she can't move. Do I? Okay, I can't. Whoa, whoa, wait, wait, wait for a second. Let's build something. All right, let's let's click on it. Uh oh. Uh oh. Oh, uh, you know what? I screwed something up. I think in the tutorial by like uh, clicking outside where I wasn't supposed to. Build an item. I don't want to click hide because it'll make the whole tutorial go away. Oh. There. Oh, it lit up for a second. Okay. All right. We got it. You can see items available to build below. We suggest building a barrel or a trunk to increase storage, but you can choose to build whatever you want. I'm going to build a trunk, obviously. Uh, yeah, let's build a trunk. <laughs> oh, this is the best. Okay. Now place anywhere in the saloon. An item must be on the floor and not intersecting with any wall or other piece of furniture. Carpets can be placed under items. Folks, rugs are confirmed. How do I rotate this thing? C, C and V. Nope, it's just C. All right. Um, so it's in steps, and it looks fairly gridless as far as placement. Okay, I love that. You'll continue giving... Okay, that's it for now. Oh, that's it? Those are the tips? You're not free to explore Devar Saloon and build the best damn saloon in the Wild West. Oh, no. Annie Bell. Left click to have her move around. Okay, how do I slow down time? So one, two, and three... Okay, that's interesting. One, two brings up the taller, the taller. It's like a two-story thing, but this kind of goes into the slices. A new house has been built. Where? Five townspeople have moved in. Uh, you can sort by townspeople various traits. Is this their house? No, that's like a, a shanty is being constructed right outside your saloon. It would be a roughly clothed trapper. A true Western Pathfinder has moved into town to provide their goods. Be sure to check out their wares once they open a business. They tend to sell cheap alcohol and wild game. Your town has attracted its first business, unlocking the crude liquor. Oh, this music slaps, by the way. And game research trees. Okay. Once you have researched rot gut, you can purchase a crate of crude liquor from the trapper and start selling it to the customer. If you do not research a booze or food item, it cannot be sold, even if you have it in your inventory. Oh, okay. So we got to research rot gut. And then we got to get Annie. Okay, I got to keep opening her screen. I think we're just always selected her. Okay. Okay, so, oh, yeah, let's, there we go. That's a good shot of Annie. Research screen. All right, rock gut. Pemmican. Oh, what is this? Uh, friggin' uh, Rimworld? Now that the trapper has moved into your town, we recommend you research rock gut first. Once you've successfully researched this, the purchase to create a crude liquor from the trapper. Okay, so it's in booze. Rock gut. Research rock gut for me. Do it. Researching rock gut. Ten science. All right. Well, that's going to that's going to be happening. So let's let's see what we have. We have 600 or 597 doubloons left. So let's get to building here. Like, what do we need? Probably a bar back. Oh, these are so cheap. Let's get a, a nice fancy one. A walnut bar. Uh, Z and oh, it's Z to rotate. Okay, I love it. Okay. So we're gonna have it like right square in here. Something like. Something like this, because I can see, yeah, this is like, so this, is that left the most footprint available for other things, I think. So now we do a bar back. Also, uh, is there a walnut one? No, there's not a walnut one. That's all right. We'll go with a bar back mahogany. We're going to go with a mahogany bar back. Put it right here. Okay, how's that looking so far? Not quite lined up. I do wish I could, okay, can I move this? No, no, not you. Not you. Right click on this. Wait, can you give me a tutorial about that, please? <laughs> tutorial? A new business, the trapper. Okay, yeah, we're gonna go talk to him in a second and the new house has been built, which we already saw. This is the business screen here. You can see it interact with businesses in your town. Oh, there it is. Is that the house or the trapper? That's the trapper. We can purchase it from him. We can purchase the whole business. Oh, this is very cool. There's the house. 
And there's some folks leading some game through town. Oh, it's nighttime already. Okay. Oh my goodness. We got to go because like, I don't know how long the, <laughs> our tutorial is going to last here. All right. Okay. We got to get, like, is there some lighting we can put in the game? Kitchen shelf. That'll be nice. Back room shelf. Structure. Uh, wallpaper. Doorway. Room. Oh, crap. There's a lot of decor. Ah, furniture. This is what I wanted. Get some table in here. Let's get a table in the corner there. Let's just get a couple of tables in there. I mean, they're kind of cheap, I think. And then, it, how is Rock Guy going? Is it being researched? Yeah, it is. Okay, okay, good. Uh, so we can deal with the trapper probably in the next day. I can't see a thing. <laughs> is there lighting? Lighting. Here we go. This is what I'm talking about. I imagine if it's anything like these other games, we're going to need a... Uh, let's get a comfortable fireplace in the corner here. Oh, now that looks nice. If it's anything like Crossroads Inn, though, we're going to run out of, like, candle candle wax. So we got to be careful about this. But let's get a candle stand. Oh, I see. Oh, it goes on. It's like up on the table like that. Oh, this game. I'm telling you, we're just getting started in this game. And I'm probably going to... I don't know how long the, <laughs> this is going to last before we are... I don't want to do the antler one. Before we are out of the demo here. This might be a quick look. I hope not. But, like, come on. Already, I'm feeling pretty chuffed about this game. I think that's a good term. Like, feeling pretty good about it. That's what I mean. All right, let's get some light chairs in here. Let's not have any aspersions, you know what I mean, about, like, how good our our place is just yet. So are they just going to know to sit here or something? I don't see, like, Crossroads Indian kind of need, like, a little connection icon or something like that. Oh, this music. This is kind of giving me, like, Western version of Space Haven vibes. Not in terms of gameplay, but in terms of immersion with that music. Now, the only thing I wish I could do is change my camera. Because the, the, it's it's inverted. And I understand that most people like that. I just, I'm the other way around. I'm not an inverted guy. I'm, like, a non-inverted guy. Is there a way to copy the... Yeah, so the thing with the objects is... Oh, wait, hang on. Move item. There it is. At first, I was like, oh, I don't know how I'm going to be able to do this. All right, let's get another... Let's put another table with a cloth over here by the... No, 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 I know. We got to do the usual thing I do. Research your first item. If you have not already, purchase a crate of 200 crude liquor from the trapper. Okay, yeah, but let me first do... You know, the thing I want to do, which is get a cow trying here. Because this is where I imagine Annie sits down at this couch in her tavern we have okay the one thing we haven't done is put down any rooms so this is a very single room tavern so far oh a baker arrived in the town my stress has increased okay uh why because we're losing money including losing money each day low town opinion of you high suspicion of you and debt i don't have debt i got 400 bucks left that's huge in here okay we'll look at our journal in a second but first let's go out to the trapper i guess oh i think i can just buy it okay Let's go restock when low, and let's purchase it. I think I purchased it. And I'll purchase some game, but we probably can't serve it yet. So let's go back to our research screen here. Go back to food and serve. Let's research some celery. We're going to sell some celery. Okay, so now Annie's gone to that spot. That's fine, but I kind of want her to go. What is this? A baker. Oh, that's the baker setting up. Okay, I love it. So we just have, automatically we have 200 in the inventory. I don't know, oh, heavens. Can you go over to this and like interact with it at all? No, okay, can you interact with the couch? No, okay, all right, you're just kind of standing around, but that's okay because uh, we got some mighty fine decorating to do. So let's keep working on this. Let's keep spending our money. I'd love to have put in a room in here. Uh, let's Let's experiment with that mechanic. Oh, inverted camera. So bad at it. This is the edit tool. Left mouse, left mouse for the a second time to place it in his new spot, or right mouse to exit the mode, and it'll return to its prior position. Okay, there we go. So here's what I'm going to do. I'm going to put a little room in here just to see what happens. We're just learning, all right? Structure. Room. Heck yeah. Wow. All right, so there's a room. We've, put, we've placed a room now. So structure-wise... Oh, oh heavens put a doorway here because this is gonna be this is Annie's room all right this is Annie's room in here so I want Annie to use this room this is the edit tool yeah I got the edit tool that was the, honestly that the controls so far fairly intuitive so I'm a big fan 
get a couple of winders in here. How much money am I spending? A lot. I mean, honestly, I am probably going to go bankrupt in this demo. But, like, what are you supposed to do in a demo? Not go bankrupt? Please. All right, so let's get some uh, utility. So that's utility. We could get a stove. The floor toggle. We'll look at that in a bit. Bedroom shelf. Let's get a bedroom shelf in here. Wait, what does that say? It's not allowed to be placed it or something. Uh-oh, it's not letting me place anything. Is the demo over? <laughs> yeah, let me place this here. Second floor construction unavailable. Oh, I think I'm up on the second floor by accident. Here we go. So we hit one. And there we go. Okay, I understand. All right. Okay, back to utility here. Bedroom shelf. We'll get a little bedroom shelf. Oh, that looks so cool. The look is really cool. Now, are there some things that I would change? Yes. Like, let me invert the camera. I'm pretty sure I can't. If I go to options here, this is all I have. Uh, yeah, so it, you, if you could let me invert the camera, that would be delightful. Uh, or the controls, rather. But other than that, I'm liking all of this. I'd like to see... We have yet to see some of my customers come in. All right, uh, this bedroom is pretty low on stuff and le niceness. Let's get a side table in here. Uh, no, that's silly. It's a very high... Can I take the walls down? Not of the first floor. Okay, that's fine. Good to know. Let's get like a chair, a cushioned chair in the corner here. Yeah, that's nice. And let's get a uh, small table over here. In the, oh, it's so, it's so big. It's a big table. There we go. Bedside table. Oh, my goodness. That looks amazing. All right. Uh, here we go. Lighting. Look at, can we put it on there? Man, that is a big candle stand. But there we go. Our bedroom. So Annie's bedroom is looking real good now. And I want to check because I don't know if any, I, I'm hoping some like customers just came in. Let's put a frame picture on the wall there. You got any customers yet? Come on in, everybody. Profit loss for the day, minus 115. Not ideal. Nothing's being researched. Okay, uh, dill pickles. Research that for me. So we research fire water? Let's, we'll do that next, maybe. So we've got our thing. How do we... Uh, let's get some customers in here. Come on in. Oh, a bit of die. Oh, I love it. Oh, she said to the table, this is the best. This is a character interaction screen. From here, you can interact with this character in a variety of ways, including befriending, romancing, proposing. More unseemly options include enticing, rob, murder, duel, investigate, blackmail, duel, or... S oh, wait. Enticing? I can either entice her, rob her, murder her, duel her, investigate, blackmail, duel her again, or sue her. Travelers cannot. All right. Well, let's... I mean, we should try to interact with her, I think. Yeah, go talk to her. Regale. Befriend. Oh my goodness. You have run out of action points for the day. Oh, I used all my action points. <laughs> I used to interact with townspeople. Uh, as the town grows larger, you can increase your action points by purchasing items and services. Some examples of this would be learning how to read and buying a horse. Oh, very cool. So I don't know if I can pick, but I've used three action points to start this conversation. I got a 30% chance either way. Inspire them to embrace their natural gift and realize their full potential. Oh, oh no, Barb hates me now. Let's just go back behind the bar. <laughs> Let's just stay away from Barb. I hope she orders something. There's another one. I don't have any more action points. Okay, so she they she just bought some rot gut. It's working. Now it looks like we don't need staff. Maybe um maybe there'll be some more interaction as the game progresses through. Oh, cool. As the game progresses through you know, early access, etc. I'm hoping that they plan on adding some stuff. Maybe I'll take a peek at their... Oh, rugs. <laughs> Never mind. I don't care anymore. Oh, I love it. Uh, I'm hoping that... Yeah, no, I, I, I am still hoping that they add some more things and they have maybe a bit of a roadmap for some of the things like interactions and, and the overall look. But what they've built here is a whole lot of nice-looking decor. And as you know about me, if you know anything about me at all, it's that that is absolutely what I'm looking for in this kind of a game. Let's get another painting up here. I might be spending too much money. I got to be careful. I spent almost all my money today. These folks are just sitting here. They've only had one rock gut, which, like, how much am I selling that for? Saloon. Uh, drinks. 11 cents. Uh-oh. Here you can see your daily and lifetime ledgers showing how much money you've made or lost for each line item. Oh, no. Oh, no. 
Okay, do I have any... Okay, what can I sell them? And what do I... Oh, I don't have any... No, I do. I have some game. So I don't know if that counts as the level of stuff that I've researched. Let's research some more stuff, I guess. Like, Jackrabbit is probably what we... Oh, but Roast Jackrabbit? How do I sell that? Okay, two... Okay, we're almost done with Dill Pickles. I might need a kitchen or something. I love that she has a room, though. All right, so let's go ahead and get ourselves, like, a utility. Let's... Uh, what do we think needs? Stove for stew. A wood stove or a cast iron stove. Kind of looks nice. I'm going to do a cast iron stove. Now, what I should have done was built a back room. I should have built a back room for this kind of kind of business. I didn't do much room building, did I? My bad. Oh, I'm going to put a barrel next to that trunk, maybe? We can get one there. Yeah, so right now, the people that come in and sit down at the tables are representative, right? So they don't animate. They don't go and buy anything. I don't need staff right now. And again, that's fine for now, but I'd like to see if they if there's a, a plan to, to work on that um, in a bit because it looks like the bones are here, right? Where it's like the game is functioning and the uh, the description, like the, 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 the decor and stuff is, is unreal. It's like looking amazing. So if the bones are here, what's next? You know, that's kind of what I'm asking. Okay, let's go furniture. Let's go with uh, decor. Let's get this, like, let's take a look at this little... Oh, interesting. Almost kind of a modern Ikea rug. <laughs> She's just sitting there buying rock gut all day, so, like, I'm not going to stop her. Looks like we're still... We're losing money. This could be a bad amount of of money loss, to be honest. But, again, we're just... We're, we're learning. We're, we're testing it out. Let's give, like, a long rug back here. Can I change the walls? Let's take a look at that option. Uh, structure. Wallpaper. Oh, so it's the wallpaper is kind of my only option. I don't have like a different type of wood or anything. I do doorways, windows. Utility. Okay, let's take a good look at... Oh, we got to get a piano in here. All right. I'm Again, I'm spending too much money, and I think what I should do really is like... Try to set up a, a working tavern right away. Not Not what I'm doing currently. You kind of want them to come in and, and go to the piano. Let's put the piano on the wall here. So let's go into move tool. Grab that and move that guy out of the way for now. What? Uh-oh. Interesting. Move tool. Grab it. Let me put you somewhere. <laughs> Can I get rid of it? Move tool. Oh, erase tool probably. There we go. Got rid of it. Maybe I'll get a bit of money back. I don't know. But first I know I'm going to need a piano. Oh, I see. Yeah, too close to the wall there. So we'll put the piano right there. And then let's get some of those chairs. Furniture. Let's get the, uh, yeah, these cushion chairs over here in the corner. Uh, like that, maybe. There we are. And then let's put something on the wall here around this area. Oh, uh, research is done. Okay, let's research. Pemmican, please. Yeah, the erase tool sells objects. I kind of like that feature. That's cool. So decor-wise, let's get a um, cow skull up and over that. And then let's get a... Oh, this little area. This area's looking good. I want like some uh, a shelf right there or something. Like a kitchen shelf could be good. A backroom shelf could be okay. Yeah, we almost want like a bookshelf if that's a thing. Oh, an elaborate stage. Oh, I love it. Okay, a brothel bed. Um... That saloon, oh yeah, maybe we gotta get a poster here. Probably up, up over here, yeah, like, just a little bit of a wanted poster. Then maybe on the way out, right? There's their wanted poster there. I mean, okay, we got 160 doubloons left. I am losing money hand over fist, but there are still customers. I think we just gotta go buck wild here and just fill this out with some tables and stuff. Uh, I would love, oh, should we put a gambling table in here? Oh, I love it. Okay, let's get a gambling table. Right in this corner, maybe? Can I get that in there? Oh, it does fit. It fits. If it fits, I sits. Like so. Then I'm going to go to the erase tool. I'm going to get rid of that chair there. 
it's looking like a little bit of a scattered place right now. Like and, and anytime you get into a new game, right? You're going to have to learn the language, learn where where things look better, where things look not great. Put a wardrobe over there somewhere. Uh, nah, let's not get that wardrobe. I think what we, I want to do is I kind of want to have a feeling of like a nice looking tavern here. Where's my saloon? So I'm making daily 165, 1870. I don't know what that is for costs or uh, where's my... Yeah, see, these are okay. These are other costs. Is that other costs or daily revenue from non saloon sources? Okay. So my upkeep cost is seven bucks. I'd like this to be negative or something, like show me visually. So my pro I'm losing a lot. My upkeep is currently killing me. And other costs, this is all my building. So really, I just need to be making at least eight bucks a day to know that things are going okay. So obviously, that's not the case right now. I do have three more action points, so let's go and try to, like, talk to Woodrow Joseph over here. And let's try to romance him, maybe? No, let's try to... Let's just try to be, make friends. And it won't let me. Maybe I don't have enough action points. Let's go talk to this gentleman. It's not letting me uh, do much. Oh, yeah. This, it must just take too much uh, action points for her. So let's try this... Uh, uh, share that they remind you of something. You know, you know, Bob Donaldson, you remind me of somebody. You remind me of... It succeeded! Yes! Oh. Opinions can rise and fall based on your actions towards them and others. So I bet I, bet I said you remind me of some beautiful actress from the big town. You're so pretty. You know, something like that. So she was like, oh, well, thank you. So we can purchase, as well as if they can purchase what they are looking for in your saloon. If their opinion drops too low, they'll become a nemesis. As well, if they are a business owner, their prices will be much higher than if they were a friend. If their opinion is very high, they'll become an ally and in turn do nice things for you, as well as lending their firepower during certain events and quest chains. <gasps> oh, goodness. I'm worried about firepower situation. I'm worried about needing firepower. Let's get a nice uh, dock table right in the center there. That looks a little bit... It's a little much. We're going to go back to the lat table uh, for this area here. And for this area here. There we go. We're going to get some, some chairs around there. We're going to call it a day. We'll call that a nice-looking uh, uh, nice looking place. So let's put one there. We're going to put one here. We're going to put one chair right here. This is only going to have, like, three chairs, maybe. Come on. Come on. Let me place it. Come on now. You hear? I didn't do the accent very well. Come on now, you heal. There, that's better. I fixed it. Okay, there we go. And we'll put some like some different chairs around this spot here. Maybe a couple of an old an old cushion chair. Oh, that looks terrible. That is not the right chair for this table. Oh no. There we go. Thank you. Hard to delete. Ugh, the floor. The camera. Uh let's just do some basic chairs then, I guess. Oh no, no, let's do the fancy ones. What am I doing? What's wrong with me? Kind of square them off so it's just easier placement for now. Um, if I could hold that key down, that would also be delightful. But again, these are nice-to-haves. This is nice-to-haves. This is just me talking out loud, thinking about what I like about the game so far, what you know, what I might like to see different. But in reality, I am just really enjoying getting settled in my nice uh, Western saloon here. Honestly, hands down, this is my favorite rug. Oh, boy. But this wouldn't be solid content if we weren't going to place all the rugs. So let's get this last rug. Which one haven't we placed? I think we placed them all. Let's get this green one in here as well. No, let's put the gray one right here. There we got a gray rug there. I don't have to put a rug under every table. but Because like right now that looks way too uh, weird and busy. Uh, so maybe, just maybe, I'm going to grab that rug and just put it under here. There we go. Let's put it in my bedroom. Yeah, we'll just let that be the thing. All right. Captain Annie comes outside to observe outside her tavern. Seems to be doing well. The cows come trundling by. Oh, don't get in the way of the cows. I could talk to Corn Corn Neil. Uh, but I don't think I think he looks busy. Oops. Okay. He's looking he's looking a mite busy in this here town. I suppose I could walk over to this house and like go take a peek at it. Oh no, it's nighttime. And the camera's going crazy. Never mind, I can get on outside. 
I ain't going outside. Not when it's uh, not when you know there's creepy crawlies out there. Do you think in the, in the Western times people had problems with like, like they probably didn't like spiders either? We're not the only ones to the to you know to not like spiders. So I imagine like it was a dirtier, nastier time. But at the end of the day, they were probably still like, oh no, a spider. Oh heck, there's a spot out there. Like, in fact, they were probably more fearful of them because you think back in the day, if I get bit by a spider now, I could like, oh, I'll go to the hospital or whatever. Oh no, all my customers are gone. <sighs> oh, this is bad. How do we do for the day? We're about to run out of money for sure. Lifetime drinks 308. That's not the lifetime sales of drinks. I thought we had way, we did way better, didn't we? Uh-oh. Oh, we got to start making way more money. Okay, well, I did what I thought I could. We could have a bit more decor, but we only have 40 bucks left. So by my estimation, we got three or four days left. We still have a lot of booze, a lot of inventory here. Research-wise, I'm not sure if I want to do more because it's going to cost me, oh, 20 cents. Never mind. Let's research firewater. Oh, after Pemmican. Okay. <sighs> All right. Some rot gut. Okay, good. We got some more. What did she say? Christ, it was hard to see what she was saying. Okay, we got some more customers. So go go behind the bar there and get some customers served up. Your more carnivorous customers are sure to welcome the butcher. Having come west, seek an opportunity and profit. I just love the idea. Don't, don't go back out there. I just love the idea that this town starts to grow. All right, we got our well here. We've got our trapper. There's a baker here that we could probably buy some stuff from. Uh, but what can I serve? I don't think I can serve anything other than like dill pickles. So that game that I bought, I can't... Oh, somebody did buy it. Or it's rotting. That's the other situation. It could be rotting. Uh, oh yeah, we're, se no, we're selling some food. Okay, so we are selling the game, which is basically just the lowest level of food. So then we go grains, light meats, heavy meats. Yeah, so once we research these things, we can sell better stuff. Once we research whiskey, I guess that's the next level up. <gasps> Oh my goodness, something's going on. You catch eyes with Bravo Donaldson and they lift their hand to wave. Approach them to talk. Good luck. As you make conversation, you're both fine. You have much in common. They tell you, you're a real true penny. His opinion goes up by 5%. Oh, I love it. Oh, and look at how he's sitting over there. Okay, okay, let's take a look at some of these. Before we wrap up here, let's take a look at some of these menus and see what we're dealing with. We've got our character tab, saloon tab. We've done those. The staff tab. Uh, would be great. Uh, I I feel like we don't want to do any hiring just yet. So these ones are expensive to hire. Cannot afford it anyway. Uh, but that's going to be expensive daily to, to have them around. Using the side buttons, you can hire staff from your town if they are available or look beyond staff to import. It is important to note that importing staff will incur a travel fee. It's transporting, And I probably they need to live somewhere too, don't they? But this will be great. So we can get our cooks here. Croupiers. Oh, there. That's a, that'll get our piano played, hopefully. And then this is how we manage them. Okay, this is looking great. What is this now? Let's research that better booze. Fire water. Thank you. A new business has been built. I love it. Okay, now the customers panel here. What are we doing here? Their wealth rating is about a four. Okay, so we probably don't want to like have too fancy of food because they, they can't afford it anyway. There's our camera options. If we had more action points, we should be able to jump to a uh, interaction with them, but apparently not. Oh, it's an interaction cooldown. Okay, good to know. All right, and then we've got our research, which we know, and the journal. Oh, man, her journal is not ideal. But her stress has went down, so that's nice. <laughs> went down from four back to two. Um... Yeah, okay. Well, her journal's all right. I would have loved to have seen if it was, like, scrawled in. So the town here. Last gate. Town population five, suspicion level zero. Town level one of four. Okay, so there's four levels. As your opinion, as your town gains citizens, new businesses will move in as well. An important aspect of your town is the main road. If it becomes wrecked or obstructed, you must take action to clear it. Oh, my goodness. Repair road is right here. Clear road. Is it destroyed, though? Seems fine. The road's okay. Oh my goodness, this game is cool. Citizens, uh, oh yeah, we were doing that already. Businesses. So I can easily go here and, and use the business tab to kind of buy new things, new products. 
And these are the houses, the one house, the Donaldson family. I love that they all just kind of hop up. Hip, hop. Every time if something happens, they're like, hip, hop. I loaded a menu. Hip, hop. Got to stand up. So I want to put some more decorations on the wall. I do have 43 Dagoons left. We do have the initial buildings of our tavern here. Like this thing is, I would like this to be more populated with stuff. You know what I mean? But so far, so good. Let's let's walk the town. Oh my goodness, who's coming in? Hey, gentlemen, you come on in here. Da Dang, I thought I was going to piss some chips away. <laughs> oh yeah, well, I don't really have... Wait, where did I put the gambling? Yes, yeah, right here, but I don't have a croupier, so I probably can't run any gambling just yet. Sorry, I can't help you with that. Horvath Stewart, how you doing? Let me just try to befriend you. I can't befriend you. I can't do anything to you. What about you? Can I do anything? I have no... I got action points, but I can't do any talking. Maybe because she's drinking or something. Would have been nice to sit down and chat with Horvath. But as it stands, Annie, Captain Annie, can't talk to him. Uh, nor can she sit down at a chair, but that's okay. She's got work to do. Oh, wait. We got to do the classic Western thing. Hang on, hang on. So we got a shot here from the oh, from the pianer. And then Captain Annie comes on in. Squeak, 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 squeak. There's Captain Annie coming to check out her tavern. <laughs> So I love this. I mean, it looks like a little bit like a colony simulator, a little bit like a tavern uh, uh, tycoon thing. If you like this demo, if you like the foundation of this game and think there's some good bones here, toss this on your wish list so that we can keep playing this. I might grab this when it comes out, to be honest, just to see, just to follow the, uh, to follow where it's going. As, as you can see, I'm already kind of turning a profit and that makes me think like, okay, what's next? The only thing I would say as far as if I was to review the game, which I don't, you know, absolutely don't need to. Profit. I'm making profit, baby. The only thing I would say is I want to see some more interactivity. I want to see the, a little more life going on. So they, they wander around the saloon from different chairs, maybe. Uh, some, I've got to serve them drinks. So, like, once we get the staff, maybe that will add more dynamic interactions. Because right now I'm sure just having one character that I can't even deselect uh, means that the staff are going to likely do something or maybe at least stand at the bar, maybe just populate it a little bit. Hopefully the piano player sits there and plays the piano. Um... Hopefully he has a shift and he needs a room to sleep in. I'm wondering, so once we get the demo unlocked, right, that's when we get into the next floor. So I'm wondering what that, okay, let's put on some red wallpaper in here. If I hold a shift, will that, uh, look at that. Come on. Look at the look at the texture of the wallpaper. So while I, so this is why I kind of want to buy the game. Because while I am, of course, uh, conceding that, oh, this is all my money. <laughs> I shouldn't have done that. While I am, of course, conceding that, uh, you know, there's some pieces missing, I would say. Uh, I, it is definitely looking like there's some heart behind this game. There's some detail here uh, that is not to be overlooked. I mean, just look at that. That's awesome. I love the bubbling of the wallpaper. So we've got ourselves a nice little tavern here. We've had ourselves a nice little time. I hope you found that to be some truly solid content. And you've taken a look at another possible game... For us to toss on the wish list. Uh, it's got research pemmican. Okay, I oh, got the fire water. Okay, let's get, let's get some better. Oh, he doesn't sell anything better than that. Oh, okay, what are my businesses? Uh, all right, uh, we got the butcher and the baker. I don't think we're gonna get anything better than butcher's dog. Oh, not okay. Butcher's dog. So we can buy the we can buy a dog for ten bucks. Done. You have purchased your first pet. They will be sitting on the boardwalk of your saloon, waiting for you to bring them in. You can move them inside your saloon by clicking on their movement toggle button on the left-hand side above the saloon ratings box. Saloon's ratings box over here. Uh, oh, there's the... Uh, yes, I can control a dog! <laughs> and now that's how you select different people. Oh my goodness. So it's a bit RTS almost, and a little bit uh, Tavern Master or Crossroads in. It is, it is a lot going on in this game. There's there's some bones here. This game is not to be left uh, left waiting. This game is going straight on the wish list, and we are going to see what develops and what comes of this game in the future. But the fact that I've got a dog... Oh, my goodness, the camera. The fact that I've got a dog and that business is kind of coming in makes me think that there's life here in this dead-end dead, dead end town. Oh, I thought that was her dress. I thought those were legs, I mean. But it was her dress. Okay, that's fine. She's buying some stuff. 
Folks, like I said, I hope you enjoyed it because I am definitely keeping this one on the list. Oh, no, the main road has been obstructed a mile out of town. I keep trying to conclude the video. By an uprising of impassioned suffragettes, women intend on equal rights. It is said that they won't move until they are re... Okay, just give them... I don't give them some rights then. <laughs> clear road. You attempt to clear the road. Reason with them, explaining that they aren't achieving anything, including for themselves. Whoa, rude. Manipulate them and turn it against each other by sowing distrust. With nothing but your firearm and your nettle, metal, I don't have a firearm. So that's not going to go well. I'm going to go with this. It's a 16% chance. Come on, ladies. Y'all aren't achieving anything, including for yourselves. They're like, uh, go away. <laughs> okay, we'll have to try to clear that road later on. Because that is very much going to affect uh, the customers that are coming in. <laughs> what do you think? Will this tavern survive? Will our pet also survive? Will our pet accidentally maul one of these people and then get us hung in the town square because our, we couldn't control our dog? Will we clear the road of suffragettes but at the same time give the suffragettes hope for their futures? We're going to find out if and when this game comes out later on this year. So ladies and gentlemen, that's Deadwood Saloon. And I'll see you in the next video of whatever it is that we play. Trying to get a nice camera angle here. <laughs> Uh, look at this thing. This is awesome.